I've been downloading this since 5.30 in the morning. Oh it's now like 11. Gosh. And it's about to happen. Oh my god. Madden. 18. So I have everything I want. <gasps>up since 5 30 in the morning downloading this it took like half an hour to download i opened up a game but all i could do is play as the falcons and the patriots from the super bowl now it's about 11 o'clock and now i can finally do everything so we're going to start off with franchise of course this is going to be the main series on the channel I'm actually going to have a few franchises i'm going to stream a fantasy draft today at about 4 p.m eastern time so make sure to check that out so I've had this vote up since like late May. The voting end last Saturday and I had a team reveal on Sunday. And that team is the Los Angeles Chargers. The Chargers got the most votes. And I wanted to do the Chargers anyway. So this worked out perfectly. So we're going to be a coach. I think we're going to create a coach. That's what we did last year. And um, I'm going to go with strategist so I can get extra scouting. So let's create our so coach. For the Brown series, we created Jim Harbaugh, who's a former NFL coach, coached the 49ers to the Super Bowl like three or four years ago. Uh, this time I'm going to go with an NFL legend, and I kind of want to go with a Chargers legend too, because we're the Chargers in the series. And uh, I looked through their Hall of Fame, and Ladanian Tomlinson is a name that a lot of people know. One of the greatest running backs of all time, pretty recent as well, like five, six years ago, he was still in the league. Preseason is what I want. So we can have, like, cuts and stuff, settings. Also, I've noticed that All-Pro has been dramatically easier this year. But I'm an All-Pro guy. Not I'm all Madden's too hard for me. I'm an All-Pro guy, but All-Pro just seems too easy. So I'm going to obviously change the sliders around. Game speed, normal's fine. Uh, game style simulation is good because I want it to be real. So like there's arcade, which is, like, big plays, probably high-scoring competitive. is like, crazy plays. Like, a lot of, like, exciting stuff. Like, the last episode of the Brown series kind of reminded me of that. Radio simulation, leak type, all is fine. Instant starter, there's not really going to be any user players in this league, so all in is good. Trade deadline on. Trade type, all trades are fine. Uh, CPU only, because I'm not getting fired. Uh, if we go all in 16, which we won't, but uh, our division consists of the Raiders, Broncos, and Chiefs. Salary cap on, relocation 10 is normal. Injury on, pre-existing injury on, uh, practice squad stealing on, progression frequency, I guess every four weeks is fine. I like to play on 10 minute quarters, tell me in the comments if I make, should make it shorter, like 8 minutes, because I'm not doing more than 10 minutes. Because already clock on is good, I, I guess 20 seconds for the minimum play clock is good. Uh, season experience, I guess full control, uh, I want pretty much all of these on manual. Yeah, League Advancement Manual. Yeah, I want all of this on manual. Team settings. Tutorial pop-ups. I really don't care. For guest players, I do want to give my players XP. Fill roster. I want it set to on. No, I want it. I want to do that. Oh, no, I want all these off. Or, I want these two off. Because I want to do it. Okay, that makes more sense. So, uh, we're going to start on the preseason. I'm not going to make any trades. I want these to be as extremely realistic as possible. I'm still going to make, like, trades, but not in this video. Like, I'll still trade, like, players and stuff. Um, so, it's not like I'm not going to do any trades. Like, but, I, like, the Browns here is I want to be realistic. And we got, like, six first-round picks every year. That's not too realistic. So, Phillip Rivers, Kellen Clemens, and Mike are our quarterbacks. Phillip Rivers, uh, 35 years old. He's going to be our starter for a year or two. We will be looking for his replacement. I'm okay with drafting him this year or when Philip Rivers retires. I don't really care. Obviously, our backups aren't very good. Colin Clemens is old, and this guy isn't really going to be anything. Melvin Gordon is our running back. I think he's going to be our long-term... Yeah, cannot speak. I think he will be our long-term answer. 89 overall, 24 years old, quick development. However, I'm not certain he will. Receivers, we actually have a really good receiving core. Keenan Allen, 90 overall, quick development. Only 25 years old, but a lot of injury concerns. I'm not going to say he's untouchable, but I would like to hold on to him. Tyrell Williams actually does have quick development, 25 years old. I don't really see a spot for him on the team long term, because we have Keenan Allen. We have Mike Williams, who I'm going to get to in a minute. Uh, maybe I'll hold on to him. I'm probably going to play him in the slot this year and have Travis Benjamin as the number four receiver. Uh, I do see myself trading Travis Benjamin at the trade deadline for 
maybe like an offensive lineman. I don't really know. Uh, and then, of course, we have Mike Williams, uh, the 80 overall, 22 years old rookie from Clemson. Uh, he did have a major injury a few years ago. Quick development, which I'm very happy to see. I was nervous if he'd had normal, because I know Corey Davis had quick, and John Ross had normal. I'm very relieved that he does have quick development. 89 speed, 87 catching. Those look pretty good stats. Corey Coleman's catching was only a 77, but I don't think Mike Williams is going to have a rookie year. Corey Coleman did in the Browns series, because Corey Coleman always broke Calvin Johnson's receiving yard record, and Mike Williams has Keenan Allen, Tyrell Williams, Travis Benjamin, and Dontrell Inman as the wide receivers on his team. And with tight end depth, we have Antonio Gates. He's a 92 overall. He's going to be very good for a season or two until he retires. But unlike quarterback, we do have his long-term replacement, Hunter Henry. I'm a little bit annoyed he has normal development. I think he had quick last year. It was actually pretty decent last year. So I'm very surprised he does not have quick this year. Eight touchdowns, about 40 catches for about 500 yards. So, but this kind of sucky doesn't have quick. However, he's an 86 overall at the age of 22, which is pretty darn good. Offensive line, our offensive line is, I would probably say, below average. Our best offensive lineman is the rookie Forrest Lamp, second rounder from Western Kentucky. Now, if you watch my NFL draft on the clock series, which I did around, like, the NFL draft, <clears throat> sorry about that, needed a drink of water, but in the NFL draft on the clock series of 20 of the 32 episodes, I mentioned Forrest Lamp was the best offensive lineman in the draft. I really think he was. He did tear his AC on real life, but I'm still going to play him. Uh, because ex I turned existing injuries on, and we sh shouldn't have any injuries, I don't think. Exactly. Is Teddy injured? Do they have Teddy? No, I, I, I'm very confused with if Teddy's going to be back or not. But Forrest Lamb, definitely going to be a long-term answer for the offensive line. He's going to be really good for us. We also have Dan Feeney, who they drafted in the third round. So they obviously worked on offense in the NFL draft with Mike Williams in the first round, Lamp in the second round, and Dan Feeney from Indiana in the third round. I do plan on having Feeney as a long-term part of our team. So we have two long-term offensive linemen. Barksdale, Slauson, and Chris Harrison are definitely not going to be here long-term. Let's go to the defense. We have an excellent defensive line led by Joey Bosa and Melvin Ingram. Melvin Ingram, 28 years old, quick development, 92 overall, title Antonio Gates for a highest rate of player, but Melvin Ingram is not 30 yet, and Antonio Gates is going to retire very soon. I do see Melvin Ingram in our long-term future, however, I'm not, like, certain. Someone who's definitely going to be in our long-term future is Joey Bosa, 22 years old, superstar development. He had an excellent rookie year. Now, I was not honestly that high uh, from Joe. Like, I wasn't huge on Joey Bosa when he came out of college. My favorite player in that draft class was Jalen Ramsey. But uh, Joey Bosa definitely had a great rookie season. He's going to be a long-term member of this defensive line. And in the Brown series, we had an excellent front seven as we got 100 sacks. Like, we averaged 100 sacks from Season 3 to Season 5. That's like 300 sacks in a span of three seasons, which is nuts. Our defensive tackles are pretty decent. We have Corey Legit, 27 years old, normal development, 84 overall. I don't think he'll be in the long-term answer, but he will be here for a year or two. He's pretty good. Brandon Meebane is 32. He's kind of old. Don't see him as a long-term solution, but he will be here for a season or so. Cornerbacks, Casey Edward and Jason Verrett are my type of quarterbacks. They both have excellent hands. Casey Hayward has 82 catching, and Jason Verrett, I believe, has 77 catching. Yep. Now, Casey Hayward, or not Casey Hayward, Jason Verrett is on a contract year. So, um, hopefully we can resign him for not too much, which, who knows. But these two are, like, perfect for me. I do want a third corner. I like having three good corners. Craig Mager is not going to be that guy. Sorry, buddy. Uh, safeties, we have Dwight Lowry, who's 31 years old. We also have Trey Boston. I did not know this team had Trey Boston, 25 years old. I'm going to start Trey Boston. I actually have to change that in the depth chart. I'm not used to not being able to change it on the screen. But I will have uh, Trey Boston starting at the strong safety spot. This is that I didn't Okay, sure. sorry about that. I was very thirsty. But at the strong safety spot, we have Jaheel Daye, 27 years old. Not that bad. 82 overall. He's going to be the starter for a little bit. I don't think he's the large answer. However, strong safety is definitely not a major need of ours. We also have Desmond King, who I may move to corner and have him as the, number, as the third cornerback. 68 overall, drafted in the 5th round, I believe, out of Iowa. He was supposed to be a 1st round pick, however, no one would throw it his way, and now he's a 5th round pick, because everyone, every quarterback who versus Iowa was very scared of him. I don't blame him. Linebacking core, we have a pretty good linebacking core. Jeremiah Tachu, 24 years old, 81 overall. He is on a contract here, so if he does well, I'm going to re-sign him. If not, then he can walk. Denzel Perriman at the middle linebacker spot. He did get hurt in real life at training camp, but... Forget that, right? Um, so, uh, Denzel Perryman will be the starting middle linebacker. He's going to 
His contract will be up next offseason, so hopefully he can do well for us. Uh, at the left outside linebacker spot, we have Jatavis Brown. He has, oh, I thought he did quick. He only has normal development, but he's 23 years old, 83 overall. I definitely do see him uh, as a long-term spot on this team. He had a great rookie season last year with, like, no expectations. Uh, kickers and punter, Josh Lambeau, who was on the Brown series for a year, 26 years old, probably not the long-term answer. Drew Kaiser, 24 years old. They're both from Texas A&M. Did not know that. Uh, I don't see any of them as a long-term answer. I also want to put Travis Benjamin on the trade block. Maybe I'll trade him this episode. I don't really know. So, free agency, I don't plan on signing anyone. Maybe, like, some rookie. It doesn't really look like there's any rookies. Um, practice squad, maybe. Click someone here. Are these all second-year players? Oh, yeah, these guys all are eh. So, uh, let's go to the regular season. Look who's... Look if there's any young gems in free agency. Hopefully, like, Kenny Galladay or something. I love that. I'm not going to play in the preseason. So, uh, yeah, let's see who's in free Before agency. Before we check out free agency, we do need to cut 20 players. I do like how they moved cutting so you could cut everyone at week four. Uh, Win, I'd assume he's for a long snapper. We're just going to cut him anyway. Uh, Deron Brown, he can go. Farrow, he can go. Jamal Jones, he can go. Landrum, he can go. Bruce can go. Jeremy Davis can go. I do like Artavis Scott from Clemson. I want to keep him. Trovon Reed can go. Asante Cleveland can go. Uh, Pulley can go. Philon, I'll keep him. Dexter McCoyle can go. Kenyon Barner, I kind of want to keep. McGrath can go. Tevi's only 22 years old. Is he a rookie? Yeah, from Utah. Okay. Uh, so we're going to keep him. Adrian Phillips, I'm um, cool letting him go. Caleb Ulis, I'll cut him. Daryl Stuckey, I'll, I guess I'll cut him. Is Jenkins here a rookie? Yeah, so I'm going to hold on to him. Damon Square can go. Um, We don't really need that Beverucci guy, do we? Yeah, I'm cool with just having Kellen Clemens. Maybe I'll sign someone. Running backs. I am think I'm going to cut Andre Williams. I did like him coming out of college. Derek Watt I want to hold on to because he's freaking Derek Watt. Our receivers were good. Tight end. Yeah, I want three tight ends. Those two are... Did... Barksdale get hurt, because I have, uh, oh, maybe it's right tackle. Yeah, because I have, uh, injuries on right now. I do want to cut an offensive lineman until we have 10. I'll cut, uh, Wiggins. We need to cut one more player. Karan Lee, Reed, former Lion. Tenny Palupaway. I'm fine with cutting him. Okay, so, let's now see who's in three. We have two injuries. Nick Zunbar is out for three weeks. Don't know him. I'm kind of wish I cut him. Uh, Matt Slauson, he is somewhat of a big one. I think we're gonna start Twerk. That <laughs> Matt Twerk. <laughs> That's like the or Max. Yeah, his name is Max. Um, I bet he gets made fun of a lot because his name is Twerk. But let's look who's in free agency. See if there's any gems. I didn't see any offers for Travis Benjamin, Larry Ogunjobi, Caleb Brantley. Those two are gems. Is Kenny Galladay here? Is Kitty Galladay in here? Darn it. Kevin White's in here. Yo. I'm going to bring in Kevin White. The Bears caught Kevin White already. Wow. Um, Who did I want? Uh, Ogan, Joby, or Brantley? I like Brantley better. I think I'm, I think they're both actually on the Browns. I'm going to sign Ogan, Joby. I believe he was a third-round pick. So that's a very good signing. Marcus Smith. Cyrus Quanjo, Chris Watt, Doyle Green Beckham could be kind of interesting. Troy Mason's a free agent. If there's anyone you see here you want me to sign, I will sign them. Just tell me in the comments below. If you want to see episode 2 today, make sure you smack the like button. I will be streaming, streaming, uh, ooh, Alex Anzalone. I'll bring him in from the Saints, I believe. Um, but if there, if, yeah, cannot speak. Um, I will be streaming a fantasy draft today. Marcus Williams is a second round pick. Wow. Okay, maybe we need to cut. We're going to cut some of these players. But um, tell me for someone here you want me to sign. And I'll sign them. I'm going to stream a fantasy draft today. And uh, that, I thought that was Dante Fowler for a second. And I'm out. Peace.